Cut no gang, cut no gang, man. Gotta talk to y'all about them barbers who not cutting. And man, I, you know, I was one of them. I was like, man, look. Oh, if I need to cut, nah. I'm about to get you together. In the beginning, when I started taking this barber, started looking at this barber life a different way, man, I was literally the first one at the shop and the last one at the shop. I didn't have no key to no shop. I waited for the person at the shop who had the key to open up the shop, but I, I always beat him. That's how I wasn't getting it. And, you know, the barber shop I started at, it was probably about nine of us. It was plenty of times, now remind you, cutting up gang, that I was there first. And everybody had somebody in their chair and the shop was full with people waiting. And I didn't have nobody in my chair. So I want y'all to know, like, just keep grinding. And in that situation, what to do? Now, you got your star players in the barbershop, right? The ones that know how to cut, that got that clientele, that's, you, you feel me? If everybody in the shop cutting except you, Go by that star barber or the barber that you feel comfortable with and just watch them. And if you say, what you doing? I mean, I'm just watching, I'm not cutting. What that's gonna do is gonna give people the opportunity to see you more and know that, man, you here to cut. You feel me cutting up gang? And, and for my example, when I did that, it was a family of a father and he had three boys. Now the star barber at the time, he was cutting one of the sons. The other two boys was waiting. So I'm standing by the star barber, he cutting. And I'm like, he like, what you doing? I'm like, I'm just watching you cut, getting some pointers. You know, I'm not cutting. And uh, the father of those three boys, like, hey, can you cut my son? I, but remind you, if I didn't do that, he wouldn't have said that cutting no up game. So that's kind of a, you know, where it's going to work. You feel me? And then that's one way. Another way it'll work where if somebody else come in the shop, they're going to be like, oh, he'll take care of you. He ain't got nobody. He right here watching me. So that's two within 30 minutes or within 20 minutes, you should be able to have somebody in your chair and you also getting pointers. People are also seeing you. They not seeing that you shot cutting no gang. So that's one way how I built some of my clients. When I wasn't cutting, I was watching the other person cut, you know? And after I cut the other person, after they referred me to somebody, I really cut their hair. Like I gave them the exact haircut they want. Even though I wasn't the best cutter at the time, barber at the time but it's like I really took my time and people in the barber game always worried about speed the speed gonna come you got to get that quality cut first once you get that quality cut the speed gonna be there because they gonna come through every time and you gonna know that shape that head shape so it's like cutting up guy you just gotta just in 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 situations you gotta make these these moves you feel me where you always available where your chair is still spinning. You want your chair to be spinning while you at work. You don't want to be on your phone at work unless you're posting the picture that you just cut. You feel me? Advertising yourself. But other than that, you don't really want to be on your phone. You want to be by one of them, one of them barbers and just watch. I promise you, it's gonna rub off its energy. You feel me? Cutting up game. Yeah, man. So if you a barber and you worried about your clientele, don't complain unless you the first one at the shop, the last one at the shop. And if everybody cutting with you and you not standing by the, a barber that you most comfortable with, just watching them cut, it's, it's steps to this. And after you cut, you're supposed to post. Post your haircuts. Now, 10, 15 years ago, it was just business cards. Now we got social media. 
But that's a whole nother video. But I'ma dig into it a little bit. Now we got social media. So if you're not posting every single one of your cuts, cut no game, you you not really worried about building your clientele or you satisfied with what you making. You feel me? You can't be complaining about Oh, ain't nobody sitting in my chair. Oh, man. Nah, man. You First of all, you're not posting. None of the cuts. You didn't take a picture. None of the cuts you did. Nor did you post it. And while everybody cutting, you sitting down in your barber chair. So, it's like, you got to get up. And you wasn't the first one there, nor the last one to leave. If a shop open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., get there at 9.30 and leave at 6.30. That's only an hour. You feel me? It's gonna work. And you gotta be consistent with this. I mean, five days. Barber school is Tuesday through Saturday. It's just five days. On your Sunday and Monday, you rest unless you create your own schedule. But definitely wanted to get on here and tell y'all that little story cutting up gang. And it's, you know, like I say, a quick recap cutting up gang. Be the first one at the barbershop, be the last one at the barbershop. And if you're not cutting, stand by the guy who called us and get his tips, because they obviously working. And the ones that you cut, gotta get that picture. Even if they don't want it, say so you're doing it for your own personal receipts, you're not gonna even post it. But if they don't mind you posting them, then you post it, because that's gonna bring you your own clientele base where you're not worrying about the walk-ins cutting up game. Yeah. And uh if y'all like videos like this, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You know, take a long time to do these videos, and I'm gonna see y'all again tomorrow. Yeah.